Hello and welcome to How to Play Nine Men's Morris, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the board game Nine Men's Morris. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with two players. To play, you will need a Nine Men's Morris board and nine markers per player. Each player starts with nine markers. Markers will be placed on the board on intersections. There are 24 intersections on the board indicated by the circles. White will start by placing one of their markers. The object of the game is to capture your opponent's markers. When a player gets three of their markers in a horizontal or vertical row, they get to capture one of their opponent's markers. Any marker can be removed as long as it is not in a row of three. A captured marker is removed from the board and is out of play. The game starts with white placing their first marker. Players then take turns placing markers with the goal of trying to get three in a row or preventing their opponent from getting three in a row. Here, white gets three in a row and will choose one black marker to remove from the board. Play returns to black, with players continuing to place their markers. Black places their last marker and gets three in a row. Black will remove one of white's markers that isn't part of a three in a row. Once all the markers have been placed, players will take turns moving one of their markers. A marker can move to one adjacent space. White starts by moving one of their markers. Play moves to black to make a move. Again, players are trying to get three in a row. Play continues until one player is able to get three in a row. Here, black is able to get three in a row and removes one of white's markers from the board. Play returns to white to make a move. Black and white trade moves, then black is again able to make a three in a row. A white marker is removed from the board and play continues. When a player is down to three markers left on the board, jump moves can be made. This means the player with three markers can move one of their markers to any space on the board, not just to an adjacent space. Here, white only has three markers left and jump moves a marker. Black is able to make a move to get three in a row again and removes one of white's markers. When a player is down to two markers, the game is over. Black wins this game. A player is not able to remove an opponent's marker if it is part of a three in a row. But if a player only has markers in a row and their opponent has made three in a row, the opponent is able to remove a marker from a row of three since there are no other options. That wraps up How to Play Nine Men's Morris. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.